today we have a very good uh, list of individuals that will be speaking on extractable leachables. And our conference our webinar is uh, focusing on extractables and leachable compounds. As we've heard, the importance of having unique identifications and its impact on toxicological risk evaluation. Uh, in order to do that, I think we'll have to first stop and make sure that we understand the importance of extractable and leachable studies. Uh, understand what are extractable and leachables themselves and how they're related. And then we'll get into the crux of our webinar, talking about these tools that limit risk and maximize project efficiency in conducting these extractable and leachable studies. Uh, the two tools that we'll highlight today that have been innovated at Toxicon are the compound identification database, our ToxRay, and the rapid initial tox evaluation services, our ToxRight services. So to talk about the importance of extractable and leachables, I think it'd be best if we first start with a question to the audience. Michelle? Yes, thanks for that, John. At this point, we do have a polling question, which the audience can vote on in real time just by clicking on your screen. So the question we are asking today is, do you currently manage or outsource uh, extractable and leachable studies? Your options are yes or no. And again, the question is, do you currently manage or outsource uh, email studies? So I'll just give the audience a few more seconds to vote. Again, you can vote just by clicking on your screen right now. And it looks as if most of the audience has voted. So I'll just close the poll now and share the results. Here we can see 76% are saying yes, they manage or outsource e studies and 24% are saying no. And with that, I'll hand it back to you, John. Thank you, Michelle. So we can see from this audience that a number of you have a, a good understanding of the importance of extractable and leachables. And I think the other 26% is probably coming new to the field. It's a relatively new uh, area, subject matter in the biotech world. And a lot of people are trying to understand what are extractable leachables and how do I go about conducting these ENL studies. Well, to talk about the importance, I think there's a general theme uh, that we need to understand, and that is understanding what is going to be delivered to the patient. That is common to combination products, medical devices, container systems for drugs and biologics, and it has four main topics, uh, factors in understanding this general theme, and that is ensuring that you have a comprehensive identification of those compounds that leach into a drug product or your environment from the container system or any material. You need to adequately quantify those compounds that are detected, then correlate that data to actual patient exposure, and finally conduct a toxicological impact safety assessment uh, so you finally can understand what is going to be delivered to the patient and how that may affect your patient. So if we take a step back and try to understand, a lot of material is qualified uh, by a variety of different compendial tests, some basic tests, um, even some ISO testing. I want to take one of those tests, the class six test, and, and start there and understand what is it that we're starting with in terms of material qualification. And if we examine that in the USP monograph 88, a class six is qualifying that you have conducted all the tests in USP Monograph 88 with all the different potential options for extract solutions. So the three different tests in that monograph are implant tests, an intracutaneous reactivity evaluation, and a systemic toxicity test. In that testing itself, you're going to extract a material in these various different extract solutions noted in the table above. And you're going to do these extractions for certain durations and at certain respective temperatures. For example, 121 degrees C for one hour, or on the latter end, perhaps 37 degrees C for 120 hours. And in every one of these cases, there is a predefined material exposure, how much material to expose to that extract solution. Methods are to fully submerge the material in that solution using a cut and cover method. And there are predefined ratios of how much material, six centimeters squared per ml, or three centimeters squared per ml, depending on certain nuances of the material. So really, here, we're looking at what happens. Do I get systemic toxicity? Do I have intracutaneous reactivity, an issue with the implant of my material? 
But what I ask the audience is to understand, how does this testing really relate to your product? Do you know anything about what's going on? Well, in extractable leachable determination, we have our polymer uh, denoted by these wavy lines on the screen in front of you, and a number of different additives uh, or different compounds that may migrate from the polymer, from the container system, the device, what have you, uh, represented here by all the red dots. And they may migrate into the extract solution, drug product, any environment of concern, noted by the blue area at the bottom of the diagram. And here, in extractable leachable determination, our focus is really, what is the cause? We understood in our class six testing what may be happening, but we really want to understand in extractable leachables what is causing those reactions or what may cause some type of impact to the patient. Thank you.